With an evening of promised activity, the Stoke Haunted team have decided to return to a firm favourite, the Bull in the Thorn of Buxton, situated along the A515. The road on which the public house now sits was once the main Roman road leading between Buxton to Chester. Over 700 years ago, this once quaint farmhouse was a mere speck on the bleak hills alongside the singular Roman road known as a street. It is probably because of the farmhouse's remote location that it gave way to passing trades, transforming into a traveller's rest and thereafter a prominent coaching inn. Currently an established eatery, public house and bed and breakfast, the landlord has made conscious efforts to remain true to the building's history, with the Tudor panelling, original flagstones and antique beams playing central roles. Last time the team visited the Bull and the Thorn, they experienced a rather aggravated dog. One of the two dogs owned by the landlord seemed to be pushing certain members out of the way at the same time as the K2 was firing. Coincidence or not, the reactions of the dog immediately ceased at the very moment that the K2 stopped flashing. We would consider it as a fluke had it not occurred numerous times throughout the evening. With fresh guests to help in our search for the paranormal, will whatever energies residing on the property enjoy teasing and testing them to the limits? Will the shadowy figure by the kitchen stop skulking and show himself fully? Will we be able to replicate the same scenarios that resulted in a heavy door repeatedly closing itself? Will our guests brave the sanctity of the medieval or banqueting rooms? Will they be able to keep calm under pressure, should the tea be faced with ultimate proof? Will we finish the evening with the same number of guests that we started with? These investigations are conducted by a trained and experienced team. I hope that is somebody else I would. Such a good girl. Come on, give it a wiggle. The tissue. Get your thing and go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Come on, because I missed it the first time. Hey! Well done. And if it was a constant breeze, it would be doing it all the time, not yeah. now and again. Yeah. It's do, it's do and we're far, far enough out. Far enough out for it not to be breathing. Can you do it again, please? I know we keep asking the same, Emily. Can you just do it one more time for me? Come on, sweet pea. We know you're doing really, really well. And we really appreciate it. And we love that you're interacting with us. Can you do it one more time Wait, for can me? Can you push it away? We're all friends. Come on. Can you push it away? Oh, I just made the table. Yay! Go on. Have a girl. I want to see how hard you can push it. I've asked her to move it, but she's just flickering. Come on, show me how strong you are. You can show me how strong you are, really. And we'll play a game. We'll play a game. You can push that. We'll play a game. You can push that. We'll play a game. See, and here's something. Now we can see the T. 
tissue. Can yeah. you right. can you ring the bell for me? No, the bell is in the corner by the fire. Can you ting it for me? Hold my hand and then do it. If you need the energy, if I put my hand out, you can hold my hand. 